options. in Dad's research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. years old, at least. It all lines up. Incredible. Some kind of marker. Can't quite make out the translation. to be a map of some sort, but I can't quite read the words.
These are the miracles of the Prophet of Constantinople, unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. Mention this. It's the Prophet speaking with a foreign army. He convinced them to lay down their weapons. led his followers through the desert, to the oasis. Still no sign of her. I don't think she survived the crash. All right, let's go. Constantine wants to breach the tomb before sundown. <sighs> They're after the tomb. <sighs> I've got to find it before them. Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden nearby. I'll mark down the locations.
Order of Trinity pursued the Prophet and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. A way through. against religious pilgrims. The Order of Trinity. The Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens, drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? The prophet <sighs> slain by the Order of Trinity. Blasting their way in. <laughs> Let's hope this works. Might be a way to release that old platform.
way to get up higher. Maybe I can raise the water. Loose gate is holding the water back. I wonder if I can lift it. inside my lord what you say is impossible I myself drove a spear into the prophet's heart I saw him die doubtless his people have propped another man up in the slain prophet's robe to continue his lies they are broken discredited and exiled we will head south and put the rest of his people to the sword. But the prophet is dead. This, I swear. Another religious symbol, but this one is simple and handmade. The prophet must have drawn followers from every walk of life. My lord, I ride at the head of a small army of the faithful, armed and ready. And I have good news. 
We have located the tomb of the Prophet. We were attacked by madmen upon the road, wearing the Prophet's livery, but they were easily bested. We allowed one to flee, and followed him back to the Oasis. Whether the Prophet escaped death, or whether another now wears his mantle, it does not matter. All will perish inside, and it will become a tomb at last. My lord, the last remnant of the Prophet's followers have barricaded themselves inside his tomb. We have made camp at the entrance, and we are preparing to break through their barricades. I saw the man claiming to be the Prophet before they sealed the gates, and I admit, he bears a striking resemblance. But it could not be. No matter. They will all be dead before sunrise. The Order of Trinity will see that his heresy ends here. Relics. Oh, no. oh ayo. Damn. Got to raise the water up.
I could get out onto that bar. I could get out onto that bar. Set the charges! The Prophet's tomb. After all this time. And the artifact? Inside. God willing. Open it. Carefully. It could be extremely dangerous. Who the hell are you? You're a smart woman. I suspect you already know. Trinity. Trinity. Where is the artifact? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me! You led us to this place. Look, it was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact.
Get down! Jonah! Laura! There's so much I need to tell you, I don't... Did you find the Prophet's tomb? Yes, but I was followed. What? By who? They call themselves Trinity. They tried to kill me. What the hell is going on here? You're starting to scare me. The tomb was empty, but I think they were looking for the Divine Source. The, the artifact your father was after? There's more. I found this symbol in the tomb. I knew I'd seen it before. It was driving me insane. That's when it hit me. I saw it here, in one of Dad's books. Listen to this. The lost city of Katesh, said to have disappeared in Siberia sometime in the 12th century. Legend says that on the eve of the invasion by the Mongol horde, it sunk beneath a lake. What does this have to do with the Prophet's artifact? symbol. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> if the divine source is hidden in the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. To Siberia? Are you kidding me? Just think. If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would, it would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, gone. Are you listening to yourself? Jonah, we've been through so much together. You know there's more out there. This could be real. I don't care if it's real. I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Katash. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. I can't give up on him. Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that.
shit, Lara. What are we gonna do? I let them do it, Jonah. If the divine source is real, we've got to find it first. Siberia it is, then. to find me. I need to do this alone. Got to find shelter. enough to last the night. Uh, need to gather more. Uh, dry enough to burn. Uh, I hope. Uh, uh, fresh kill. No meat, but... to need a stronger bow. I wish this pain wasn't so familiar. Like looking an old enemy in the eye. 
It wants to take me down. It wants me to just lie down and die. But I won't. I can't. There's something here. There must be, or Trinity wouldn't be in this snowy hell. I just hope that Jonah is okay. That he found a way back. I... I just couldn't risk having him with me. Not again. The pain of losing him, that would be too much to bear. This is my path, and mine alone. resources. I received word today that university funding would be cut again. It's becoming increasingly difficult to continue. I face constant ridicule from people I once considered colleagues and friends. They have no idea. There is a truth behind all myth. The stories of all cultures speak a universal language, and they point to a startling possibility. The world is not what we think. Our lives are not what we think. If I continue, I face isolation. I will become a pariah. But I will continue. For Amelia. It was her death that set me on this path, and for her I cannot waver. I wish every night that she was still here, that I'd had the tools to help her. 
Lara has accused me of paranoia again. Perhaps she's right. Oh. But I've been approached by people asking to see my research, while, like, people offering no than, credentials. More than a year already. I'm sure someone is watching me. Strangers outside the manor house, it. odd phone calls at odd hours, and then last night the house alarm was tripped. Someone had tried to break in. I believe they represent an organization called Trinity. There are oblique references to them in much of my work, but what they're after, I do not know. I've begun taking steps to ensure my work remains secure. Uh, One day, I, I hope Lara will understand why I did all this. During January with the, the overlay. Before, I don't have any overlay. I just recorded my, my gameplays directly. Without face cam and overlays and any alerts. Received an invite today to speak at a conference on folklore and anthropology. Of course, I've only been invited as a figure of fun. They only want to ridicule me and my ideas. But the point of this work is not to keep it in the shadows. The point is to expose it, to help bring the truth to the world. Amelia believed that it was noble to face adversity head on. That strength was born from inside oneself. She was right. She was always right. For better or worse, I will accept the invitation. The conference was, of course, a disaster. I might as well have been booed from the podium. And yet, I am in the best mood I've been in years. I met someone there. An admirer. She approached me after the slaughter. I nearly flinched, expecting her to continue the beating. But instead, she simply asked to hear more about my work. And when I started to talk, her questions were not loaded with cynicism. Instead, they were intelligent, almost innocent in their inquisitiveness. We spoke for hours. Uh, okay. She okay. says her name is Anna. I've invited her to dine with me when we're all back in London. Hello, hello. How about this? Can you hear me properly? Uh, I've been streaming for more than a year, but I started to get more serious by January of this year. I got the overlays and the face cam just recently. Having Anna in my life has put new wind in my sails. She's helped me focus my work, helped organize my research. She's even offered to become my editor. I never thought I'd find such an eager collaborator. Her presence in the manor has revitalized everything. The rooms have life again. I feel I have life again. But I am worried what Lara will think. Her emotions are more guarded than mine. I worry she thinks I'm trying to replace her mother. But I'm not. I'm simply trying to find what happiness I can in this life. Lara will just have to understand that. New developments. I found an old manuscript buried and forgotten under a heap of pseudo-scientific texts. As I began translating it, I realized what I had. A record of the deathless prophet. I'm still working on the translation, but already it has provided details of his life I'd never read before. There may just be enough here to find the location of his tomb. This manuscript could be it, the singular piece of research that will bring all of my work on the immortal soul together. Revelations are coming quickly. There is much work to be done. Tonight over dinner, I'm going to celebrate with Anna. My son. I wish this pain wasn't so familiar. Like looking an old enemy in the eye. It I wish this pain wasn't so familiar. 
like looking an old enemy in the eye. It wants to take me down. It wants me to just lie down and die. But I won't. I can't. There's something here. There playlist. I wish this pain wasn't so familiar. When the drop. Sources first. <sighs> no way to pull that down yet. I didn't hear. Let's go. my arrow and that Uh. These wounds here 
Mongolian. Okay. Trinity, they're here. Command, do you copy? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit. What the hell was that? Just fall. This one. Wait. I need to go here. I have learned all I can from the carnage inside the Prophet's tomb. My brothers were slain to the last man sometime within the last few days. The false prophet's followers died here by the hundreds, but in the end, they were victorious. I have sealed the tomb as best I can and told the men of the nearby village that the Prophet is at last dead. I left them with the subtle threat that this place should remain hidden. I do not know if the Prophet survived but I will follow their trail. No one escapes the Order of Trinity.
For a year I have ridden with an army of Mongols, as envoy from the Order of Trinity. The Khan is a great warlord, despite his heathen ways. Under my influence, I have helped them topple nations, burn cities and kill princes, all in search of the Prophet. Our slaughter of the Rus was not in vain, for among the spoils we at last found the map. And now, this very morning, after a season in the mountains, we saw buildings rising from a green valley surrounded by ice. We have found Kitesh. I tell the Khan of the riches that will be his, and that alone drives him on. But the real victory will be for God, when we purge the Prophet's lies from the earth, and at last the divine source will be ours. Hey, I don't know.
We have told the people of the Valley City that we will attack at dawn, but we shall advance behind the Karash at moonrise. The captives we kept from the battles in the West will be our shields as we advance. Few survived the long march across the mountains, but those that live will serve their purpose to the Horde. The city sparkles, a gift not yet given. We will take what is ours and march home with our spoils. One of the princes of Kiev. How did it come to be all the way out here? Someone was wearing it when they were killed. Prophet and his followers have been traveling under cover of night, a crooked trail around the border of the Eastern Empire. I do not know where they are headed, and I suspect they do not either. But they know we will not let them rest until this heresy is purged. The common folk of the borderlands give him shelter, and I find it curious that none who have aided him will tell me anything of use. Even when I threaten them with the wrath of Trinity or touch the edge of a knife to their throats, they stay silent. They die, never betraying what they know. The Prophet has a curious sway over people. All the more reason he must be silenced. Oops, sorry. Most of the writing is in praise of a military victory, but it looks like they left something nearby.
some interference on that last transmission. We lost contact with a survey team on the southern ridge. Last known point of contact was... <laughs> Lara, refusing to use the door again, I see. But it's faster this way, Dad. Come here, you little monkey. Uh, are you going on another adventure? Yes. My greatest one yet. Well, I've decided that I should be your assistant. Oh, have you? Well, there's no one I'd rather have by my side. But this business, it's too dangerous. Lara, listen to me. Someday, you're going to make such a mark on this world. You're going to make me so proud. Give me a moment, no. darling. I need to take this. Oh, Lord. I've got to bind this wound. Leash has done the bleeding. <sighs> Needs some kind of bandage. Yeah, you're going back. Those mushrooms, they're death caps. I should be able to make a poison. Mm -hmm. 
to make something with all this. Should head back to camp and try. My name is Kill the Nova. I'm not yet dead. Listen to me. This discovery is too important. I don't give a damn about my reputation. Don't you dare threaten me. After everything I've done? Hello? Hello? Dad, what's happening? They're fools! You're scaring me. I'm close, Lola. Close to something important. Someday. You'll understand. I don't want to understand. I just want you to stop. Be my dad again! Run her down! Teams report in. What's the situation? Over. We found another camp up here. Fire was still warm. They can't be far. Over. Comms are still spotty, so stay in close. We need to find them before they can organize another raid. Roger that. We'll make a full sweep. Facility. Negative. Last 
last word we got, they were under attack, and then the comms went dark. Roger that. Any idea who these savages are? Not yet, but don't underestimate them. Safe bet would be that they're the ones that wiped out our survey team. How do you figure? They retreated the moment we opened fire on them. Just keep your eyes peeled for traps. They may have left some surprises for us on the way out. Spread the word. The natives set snares in the clearing. They must have planned for us to pursue. God damn it. They weren't retreating. This was a feint. They're still out there. Uh, Brinker. We're gonna need counterinsurgency protocols. It'll blow the timetable. Constantine's not gonna like this, but it's better than getting picked off in the dark. Teams, keep your eyes open. The native food is around the woods. I think someone's out there. the word. The natives set snares in the clearing. They must have planned for us to pursue. God damn it. They weren't retreating. This was a feint. They're still out there. Brinker's KIA. Someone's gonna have to cut him down. Thank <laughs> you. 
load. Ay, nantay ka muna gumilid. Okay. No, kanina. Spread the word. The natives set snares in the clearing. They must have planned for us to pursue. God damn it! Get on the radio, see if you can raise the facility. Last signal we got said they were under attack, then nothing. That was just a few minutes after the natives hit us outside the ruins. Then they retreated away from the facility. This was a coordinated thing. They're trying to spread us out. And tell who fucked this up, these aren't peasants. Shit. We're gonna need counterinsurgency protocols. It'll blow the timetable. Constantine's not gonna like this. <laughs> Ayos ko bila nang galing. One of ours! Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Stay fed up.
I was on the first flight to Siberia to secure the old Soviet installation now. More arriving every minute. Konstantin gave a speech to the new boots, and I stayed in the back to watch. Love hearing him speak. Never gets old. I was never much for believing, but it was just words before this. It's something more. It's truth. I was broken once. But Trinity is making us whole again. Giving... giving us a purpose. A new world awaits. Even those who don't believe will have a part to play. A Mongolian tug. A banner of sorts to be affixed to a spear. This one looks like it's seen some violence. No way to pull that down yet. Uh,
Damn, it's still there. to draw it out. Long. Better to draw it out. Ando de vuelo un poco de eso, ¿no?
fugitive prophet has crossed out of the Empire and now turns north. I'm now in unfamiliar territory. The Order of Trinity was clear. I am to pursue the false prophet and his adherents to the ends of the earth and wash away his heresy. But I believed I could overtake him months ago. Still, he eludes me. He crosses Khazar land and across the Caucasus mountains. Here, I'm at a disadvantage. I speak a dozen tongues of the Empire, but in the hinterlands, I'm often left to communicate with little more than a sword. The Prophet, it seems, speaks every language, as if he were born to them. He's passed through the lands of the Rus. I cannot shake the feeling that he's taunting me, waiting until I'm a day's ride away before moving on. I will not be home before the winter as I hoped. I've stopped at a small village by a glassy lake they called Svetloyar. The Prophet spoke here, and now the villagers refuse me lodging. I slept on the banks of the lake, where a young man bearing a crude version Prophet's icon tried to kill me as I dozed. I made an example of him, and now the people fix me with the evil eye, spit at me as I pass. I must move on soon. His sickness spreads.
gonna be cold. An arrowhead carved from bone. This looks like Mongol craftsmanship. This was a whistling arrow. Mongol archers would fire these over their enemies to frighten and confuse them. I'll need wood to get this fire started.
Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city. the ice somehow. The Maria Adula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones. And I am drowsy. Just a little oh. sleep. should be able to climb those oars.
Now column. to find out what's up there. so much wealth with them. the archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. done. We'll die here, thanks to Coraldus and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here, with us. I have always kept a little poison at the ready in case the ship was taken. Now, it has another use. A Byzantine brooch. The enamel work is beautiful. This portrait has been defaced. Looks like it was depicting the prophet. They must have had to hide their faith. Okay. The 
madman continues on. I, I do not know what drives him. Mm -hmm. We pass through frozen mountains at the edge of the world as people are dying. Every day, I pass graves or bodies <laughs> left along the faint trail. Long. I have grown thin and hard, but I am close now. My, my horse is dead. The mare that had been with me since the campaigns against the Bulgars. I butchered her. One am. The meat on my back. One more one. But I am so Not close. I can hear them singing just over the ridge. A joyous sound on the wind. Our prophet will be dead within the week. And I will return to the Order of Trinity. <laughs> triumphant. Just one more day, oh, and I will be upon him. I'm not your enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. Ooh. What's going on down there? out here and they appear to have been here for a very long time living in isolation for decades maybe even centuries I notice elements of her dress small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire could they possibly be descendants of the prophets people how much do they know about the lost city or the divine source it's clear Trinity will do anything to find out I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true. Ano, meron. Dito, dito. Blue wave, blue wave. Sa amin. Ayan, sige. Magagalo mo dito. Yeah, I 
kita benar. Stop, Re. Oh, ada jet. Ada apa sumbang? Yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.